when we're arguing the Coriolis effect, you know, they they argue that by flushing toilets, you know, uh, we send water vortexes going down the drain and stuff like that. But I was thinking about it one day how if that's true, wouldn't it be true on a macro level that if tornadoes go one way in the southern hemisphere and they go another way in the northern, wouldn't the entire atmosphere go one way down there and the entire atmosphere up here? Like when you go below the equator, the atmosphere is like, you know, uh, you know, that's not even true. I mean, if you look it up, they, they've all admitted now that that's just a lie. The guys at the equator that do that. They do it, you know, go to this side of the equator, then they pour some water in a jug and they go to this side of the equator. It's just a scam. It's a known scam. They know what they're doing. They they basically pour the water in the direction that you want it to go. They're just very smart and they get they collect tips. I'll show you. I'll bring up something that shows you that that's uh, not real. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> it depends on how they pour it down the funnel. They try to do it at an angle. Right. So it spins one way. Pretty smart. So, you know, again, I get, I give them credit. Um, yeah, nice trick. Nice trick. Yeah, nice trick. Not the way to do it. If it is, well, you're an idiot because you're going to end up having people not believe you when they figure out that you're lying to them. So, to me, I was told that water goes down the toilets in the opposite direction, and it's just not true. Toilets are made to have a certain flow, depending on which way the jets flow out of the side of the underneath the rim. That's the way that they go down. So it's not like anything like they've said. Um, so you see, one customer even noted in an explainer on the points guys in 2017 that the scam wasn't even offered directly on the border and that the fl flowers were floating in the opposite direction than they were supposed to. You can likely find this neat trick in any of the 13. So there's just people that do it for, you know, for fun. The bowls shaped a certain way or when they pour the water in, they have it to uh, kind of show which way it is. So they know to pour it a certain way, but it's uh, not real. So anyway, just wanted to point that out because we do get that one sometimes. Um, uh, I, I hope that we ain't, tripping again out here on the stream like i'm i'm really having a bad day with the stream if that's true yeah, no no i wasn't i didn't have it on um uh, see if it but i'm i'm a i'm a re-upload and edit and record and put this back up if it is problems <laughs> shit but yeah man this is really annoying because, looks like it's going okay okay at least from what i can tell i don't know if it's uh, yeah it's not fucking up on mine bro Oh, okay. Everybody says we're good. So. Yeah, yeah, that Coriolis effect is a is really a is really an interesting argument. I mean, it's just crazy how that the whole time they just been pouring the water one way. I watched that video on it and then they hurry up and pour the drain and the vortex will go that way. But if the Coriolis effect was real then wouldn't the whole atmosphere beneath the equator go different than the one above it? I mean, that, that's crazy. Because if a toilet bowl would be different in different hem hemispheres or whatever, or different, you know, the, the northern part of the globe versus the southern, right? If, if the toilet flushes would be polarized or different, then surely the atmosphere would, in, in my opinion. But... None of that matters because it's all been uh, exposed. Hey, bro, you ever notice this? Like with the Coriolis effect, this is what gets me about it. Like, and this shit only happens with like heliocentric, like these motherfuckers that believe in this shit. Because like, all right, let's say the Coriolis effect, they talk about it affects toilets. And then they got a whole nother thing about how, pick up whatever bullets, you, how bullets spin around the earth. It's like it's crazy. It's like the like the gravity shit. Like gravity holds everybody down, but it also makes big ass balls revolve around each other. It's like how do y'all get all these things out of like out of one thing? Like it's crazy. And the guy who just broke the record, he has a he shot a bullet four miles. Like took like twenty six seconds to get there, and he hit the target or what? He's got the longest shot ever. I contacted him and asked him, "Hey, what did you calculate in for the for the Coriolis?" He said, "Oh, I didn't calculate that." So again, mm. even the guy who has the record for the longest gunshot, he yeah. didn't calculate for that at all. And that's what I mean. You mm -hmm. see how they try to tie everything into it, and the shit don't have nothing to do with right. the curvature of the Earth at all. Like they just want something to be evidence for it, and they just pull anything in for evidence. 
Oh, okay. so, I mean, I was in that movie that ended up being a hit piece, right? It was called Behind the Curve. If you haven't seen it, don't. It's a you know t- terrible hit piece. We were lied to by the guys who made it. But at the end of the movie, they have a scene of me watching an observation, and I say interesting. And every Glober I've ever talked to laughs at me and says, oh, you proved the Globe. You prove it's like you you're believing in a hit piece movie, like that's your evidence. You don't have where's Neil deGrasse, where's Bill Nye, where's these guys proving things. You had to go to a movie that lied about me and call that your evidence. That's it. Just shows you that they're they're grasping for straws. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I seen it. I seen it, and it, it pissed me off. But me it off. really like I wouldn't trust that the motherfuckers in the first place. Because look how look how they treat flat earthers anyway. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I they, trust they fooled us by, you know, coming by. First of all, I was the last one to sign the, the what, not an NDA, but whatever, the authorization, because I kept putting it off. I didn't didn't want to do it. I was like, I don't trust these guys. But they were like following me around in North Carolina. And then at the event, they're just following me around like, you know, please, if you sign me, like, everything's on the up and up. We're trying to do a good piece. We're trying to show you guys in a good light. And it was like everybody else had already signed. So I was just like, well, I guess it would be really weird for them to make a bad movie at this point after they promised us all. Well, they did that. And you know what? The other thing is the lady who's in charge of it um, or the, the producer of the movie, that's a girl. I asked her, I said, can you send me like three or four examples of your documentary so I can see what you've done before? So she sent me like two or three. One was on like, I don't know, e-gaming and another one's on something else. So I kind of agreed. It's okay. It seems like she does. Okay. We're come to find out after the fact she's done a movie on, uh, I don't know what I can say here on YouTube on the SH school, right? She's done a movie on that about how basically going after conspiracy theorists already. So, of course, she knows that I, that's what I was talking about when I say, can I see an example? So she hides that from me, doesn't tell me that she's done that documentary. I found that out after the fact. So, yeah, I mean, I take adv- I take responsibility for and that's why you haven't seen me in a movie since then, because <laughs> I'm not going to have that happen to me again. I've It's been a, a nightmare over something that and really, if you think about it or if you know about the experiment, there was two different results. Either if we saw the light at 23 feet, it would you know be evidence of a curved earth. If we saw it at 17 feet, it would be evidence of a flat earth. So we go out there and we looked at 23 feet and didn't see it. So I was excited thinking for sure we'd see it at 17. So then we're looking at 17 and we don't see it. So I tell him, lift the thing over your head, lift the light above your head. So he does. And then I see it. And I said, interesting. Well, the reason for that is because if you take something at your chest, which is where he had the light and put it above your head and measure that difference, that's two and a half feet. So really, that means it was at 19 feet. Well, the movie shows that final result of me saying interesting, making it look like we saw it at 23 feet. We didn't. The reason I said interesting is because it was in the middle. Interesting. Why aren't we seeing it at 17? Why aren't we seeing it at 23? Instead, we saw it at 19 and a half. So the movie doesn't tell you that. They don't explain that at all. Uh, 19 and a half is technically closer to 17 than it is to 23. So we were smart enough to walk away from that saying nothing was proven. Nothing was shown. There's nothing we can bank on with this. And yet the movie went ahead and then put that scene at the end. I even contacted a lawyer and showed him uh, communication between me and them where they promised to give me the footage. Well, of course, after that happened, I was like, oh, these idiots. I'll just boxing gym is hoping kids pick up the gloves. Hey, hey, Jay Nice. Appreciate you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, Jay Nice. Yeah, 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 Jay Nice. Ye
and or have some structure built somewhere in Utah that shows it. They don't do nothing. They just uh, ignore it completely. So. No, peace, Sanchez. I'm back, man. What was your question? Who, me? No, um, Sanchez wanted to ask me something. I think pertaining to um, the Coriolis effect or something. I forgot the question he wanted to ask, though. But I uh, well, well, nah, hold on, wait a minute. Well, let me ask you a question, uh, bro. Um, wait, but Don, one second, one second. Hold on, hold, hold on. on. Let, me, let, me talk to, let me talk to. Uh, nah, let me get this out real quick. It's gonna take like one second. Relax, bro. Sanchez, nah, I have one. Come up to give. Man. Yeah, so bro, Sanchez, I had one to come up here and give you your flowers, bro, because you really helped me and guided me through my um. And learn the truth about life. And I just want to say thanks. I appreciate that, man. I wasn't expecting that. I'm humbled, man. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, no. we have much respect and love to you. You you know, one thing I was gonna bring up too. Uh, there's a viral video that's been floating around flat earth since the beginning, and that's the pilots flying above the sun. And I'm going to tell you what I think would be dope, yo, if we can interview those pilots. That will be so dope, man, because guess what, yo? There's no other footage out there like that. I'm pretty sure they ain't the first pilots to do that, so that make me think that there's some kind of conspiracy to, you know, uh, keep the pilots quiet or something because how hard would it be to fly over the sun now flat i don't see flat earthers deal with this a lot right because when a globalist say well then if your sun is local where is it then how far up is it guess what i say boldly i say right within the atmosphere right within the clouds in the atmosphere i can say that boldly and if you look at the hebrew model that will explain the crypto uh, it, it, I mean, the crepuscular rays ain't lying to us. But if we're saying that the sun is just right up there, then we're saying that it's possible that it can be flown over. So I think that the video that, that the pilots was on is a, should be spoken of more, and we should see more of those too, me personally. I have a question for Gymnasium. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... If the sun is local, mm -hmm. right, and according to the laws of perspective, um, things that move further away uh, get smaller and smaller. So if, if the sun is local, why is it that the sun remains exactly the same as it, as it, as it uh, goes over the horizon? So we see everything in what? And there's no better name for it, like a personal atmospheric dome is what we call it. You see everything that you see is within your sphere of sight, if you will. And I can show examples of this. But so the sun that you see is not the real sun. It's a projection sun. That's why it's different for every person. This is why it's a it's funny because it actually goes with some of the religious talk. Like we have a personal relationship with the sun. Where have you heard that before? Who else has a personal relationship with the sun? Right. So. The personal relationship with the sun is that when it rises and sets and it's above your head, it's never any further distance or closer to you. It's the same distance everywhere. Same distance when it rises, same distance above your head, same distance when it sets. So there's no, there is no change in the angular size. It stays the same. Well, uh, please, Darren, is that's a contradiction. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's a contradiction because um, we can clearly observe, right? If that were the case, the sun would remain exactly the same distance in, no matter where it is in the sky. That mm -hmm. would mean that the sun is millions of miles away. It wouldn't mean that the sun is local. Because if something is local, it means that its distance, depending on where it's positioned in the sky, changes. We see that we see that with airplanes, you know, airplanes that fly, you know, five thousand miles above the surface of the earth. You can clearly see that, you know. Yeah, but the airplane gets not being smaller projected. and smaller and smaller as it goes away. So yeah. why doesn't the sun do that? Because you the can't sun just is say projected. it's just because of a projection. Then what do you mean by a projection? Meaning that we don't see the actual source sun. That's not what you see. What you see is projected to you. And this, I mean, this is a 
Well, I was going to say it's a known thing in the globe too, but you know, you can't measure the distance to the sun, right? You can't triangulate it. You can. No, you cannot. What do you mean? You, you, you can triangulate the, the sun's distance. That's... Okay. You know, if you triangulate the sun's distance, it comes out to 4,000 miles. No, it actually comes down to millions and millions of miles away. Yeah, I can prove it to you right now. So we know if it, if the sun is on the equator, the equinox coming up, right? So no, about... forget about that. Can you explain your projection? Yeah, I'm going to explain to you first of the sun is on the equator, right? And you're at the 45 degree mark, meaning that the sun is 45 degrees to you, correct? So if we figure out that distance and we can triangulate the sun and it will come out to 4,000 miles. Okay, forget about that. Tell okay. me what this projection is so I can debunk it. <laughs> So that, I mean, if you're, you're not you're not open minded at all. You're not looking for the truth. No, I uh, look this. I'm not open minded. You're right. I'm not because right. I I want evidence. I don't just blindly go. I should open my Let's mind see. to satanic beliefs. All right, so no, I'm right. not like you, man. Okay. I need the evidence, and I will yeah, and man. I will scrutinize it, and I will debunk it. Okay, so scrutinize but the thing the is that we see open mindedness is for fool, foolish people like you. Okay, so, so so tell me how this projection works. So give us some evidence that it's a globe. Yeah, well, how about just evidence that we can see twenty five trillion miles just because some men? Hey, time. hey, buddy, hey, buddy, tell me what projection is. Hold on a second. I'm telling you that for us to have replacement for you is not necessary. I, I don't need your satanic monologue. Just tell me what your projection is. Okay, let's hey, say guys, that there is no projection. Then, then you're happy. Then you can. Yeah, exa exactly. Exactly. You are just like you know. You're making up a story, and you're you're basically like convincing vulnerable people on the internet to believe in what you're saying. So oh, you I know who this is. Profit. I know who this guy is. So you can His make name's... a profit out of them. Oh, Liam, you're a disgusting it's you. human being. This is Liam. He just keeps calling in my show every Thursday. You're night. disgusting. You really are. This guy believes in what he's told by men who tell him they can see back in time. Imagine that. No, this isn't just men. This is evidence. Where is there we evidence that we can see evidence. back in time? Listen to me. They tell us that when we look in the sky through a telescope, we see back in time. How Why much money have you made from this flat earth thing? Nothing. What do you mean? How much am I making? How much money have you made so far convincing vulnerable people on the internet? Oh, they're just throwing their money at me. Everybody. Ask everybody in the audience how much money they've given me. So, well, Jaren, how, how, how do you how does how does your children how does your children feel about you spreading lies on the internet? Well, to, to you it's a lie. I get that. No, your what? children feel embarrassed. Bro, stop getting they personal. Really do. Just stick to the questions. Yeah, yeah. Stop getting keep, too, you get way too close. Yeah, yeah, age yeah, of chaos. Jaren, let me ask you a question. Can you hear me? Yep, I hear you. His children are embarrassed. What, what do you know about what do you what do you know about the Tropic of Cancer? That it's the furthest that the sun goes north. Now, um, I'm just saying, what do you know about it pertaining to um because I know you believe in flat earth. But I know the Earth is a spirit, so I want to know what is your, um, what, what do is you your mean, analogy? What do you mean? Of you the tropic of cancer pertaining to hold on. What's your what is your analogy, analogy of the flat of tropic of cancer pertaining to the flat Earth? I don't know what you mean by what is the my analogy. Why do I have to give an analogy? Well, what is your? How does it work? How does the tropic of cancer work on the flat Earth? That's the furthest that the sun goes to. You can see this map right here, right? Yeah. Can you put my screen up? Russ Sanchez, I don't know if you can just, but I'll show that there's, you can see the red line in the middle is the equator, and then there's the yellow line at the farthest outside and the one on the farthest inside. The furthest inside is the Tropic of Cancer. Okay, so tell me this, right? Why does the Tropic of Cancer move? It does not. Yes, it does. Um, it does. Anybody can look this up. The Tropic of Cancer moved. They got it. They got it. Um, they got it noted in, in Mexico where you can see where each year the Tropic of Cancer have moved. All across the globe, people have this mapped out of the Tropic of Cancer proving that the Earth rotates. You Wait, can only get know? that if the Earth rotates. For the Tropic of Cancer to move, the Earth has to rotate. How much does it move? How much has it moved in our lifetime? Um, the Tropic of Cancer, I think it... it um, let see how far they... I forget three, the exact three inches. That is three inches. Okay. okay. Well, he just answered it. Thank you, Harry. Uh, but it moves. So, so what? See, three inches a year? What I'm about. Three inches a year or what? Is it three inches a year, Harry? I'm not. It's I, I three it's inches. Moved, I'm not it's three it. inches uh, um, per five years. Three inches per five years, the tropic moves. Okay, so just think about what you're saying, though. Why not just be... the tropic and many, many other celestial objects? Okay. They move. There's so why would that be it. proof of a of a round Earth? It proves the Earth huh? rotates. And so what do you mean? Proof of a. <laughs> what do you mean? How do you know the sky is not rotating? Hey, Janice, Okay, when everyone's a flat Earther, what, what what happens after that? 
What do you mean? What happens after that? Once you've convinced the whole world the earth is flat, what happens? I'm not after trying that? to convince the whole world, so I don't really care about that. What I care about is that we've been lied to about the shape of the earth. Okay, and now that everyone knows the earth's flat, then what? Well, the people I know have have, have become better people over it. So that's just okay. But I don't care about that. I'm asking you. Then I what? care about people being better people. They've they've better convinced for what? the world. Do you know that that the heliocentric model is responsible for atheism? That there wasn't even atheists before it. No, okay, the whole true. world, it's the whole world, all. there's no atheists. atheism. Now, atheism what's going to happen? Roman, um, that's based off a of war. Um, Very if you were fighting against the Romans or the Greek or people in, the, in Greece, um, if you was losing, they would say, Hey, these people must not have no God because their God is not helping them win. So, they considered them people atheists. A lot of people got the definition of atheism, Mr. And Screw. Okay, but so atheists, I'm, what I'm saying, people, people, you people who don't believe have a God that can help you win. Okay, but now, now there's atheists that believe that there is no God, that we came from a, a bang, that it just exploded into everything that there is. Most ridiculous right. belief that they're there going is. off the, what they call the philosophies of men. And it's how you but go you're no different to them. Do you, uh, you, do, you realize, do you realize if we were the center, if we were the center of the universe, if we were important, that there would be no atheists, people would recognize that we're created. But they don't recognize that because of this heliocentric model, well, which is nonsense. No, brother, that's not it. Uh, uh, atheism saying, oh, is a social oh, construct based on uh, beliefs. Okay, That's so, where that comes from. That's not based off a globe model. Because well, I'm saying most people ground, today, flat. if you were to ask them, they're it's not going to say that. Of, it's based yeah, those off friends of yours who got government. better, they're delusional. The what? They're delusional. What are y'all even talking yeah, about? Yeah, they're delusional. Well, maybe no, I'm asking him, like, like I'm asking these types of people who want to convince the world that the earth is flat. Okay, then if the whole world believes the earth is flat, then what? You missed what I just said. I just said I don't want to convince the world. So I know I understand that, but let's say the whole world are flat earthers. Then what? I don't know what what well, I'm well, in charge I, of I telling you that. To why would I be? Question, why would I be in charge why of that? does the tropic cancer moves? Can you because please the sky moves? Me. So that's why I asked. I don't know if you can see. Uh, let me stop sharing this. Can you see this map here? Yeah, because yeah, you this, said is a, this has been move. this map has been debunked. Hold on, you said you think it's been debunked. That's great. We have. Solid okay. concrete evidence that the Tropic of Cancer moves. Right. So you see the stars there in the sky. So if that, yeah. if that adjusted just five inches to the right, or whatever you said, five. What did you say? Five inches. So if it the didn't sky, adjust, it didn't adjust five inches to the right. It doesn't matter which direction <laughs> it adjusts to the left. Then. Because you, because you. No, like it didn't. No, right. I don't think you understand how this works. I think you're I, delusional. So you think right. he doesn't know how moves, to work. Moves every five, yeah, I don't think he knows. <laughs> this guy literally drew up this baby cartoon. Exp Dude, you're embarrassing. I think y'all don't know how it works. Y'all look at cartoons. Oh, we know exactly, exactly how, how it works. You're That's embarrassing, man. The earth is not flat, brother. You live in the West. <laughs> Madonna, you're a closet flat society in the history of humanity, and this is what you're doing with your time. You're pathetic. What you do with your time is go around to flat Seriously, earth you're and, embarrassing. And, and complain and cry. I've heard you for But you're here months. talking to him. You're, you're embarrassing. You you're doing embarrassing. This yourself with this nonsense i'm not embarrassing anything sorry oh, but you are that's your opinion no this is childish this is i don't care grow if you up. Want to believe if you want to believe that you're flying right now 1.2 million miles per hour and that we can see back in time because some hit some atheist told you that go ahead i don't give a shit okay have you ever heard that the the Tropic of Cancer moves, I'm sorry, yeah, Tropic of Cancer moves five inches every five, what was the distance again, tell me? It moves 20 inches per five years. 20 and inches per five years. And so you don't realize that the sky, if it just adjusted by that same distance, would cause the same thing? Meaning if the sun is just moving slightly, five inches every five years or whatever you said, 20 inches every five years, it would be the same thing. The tropic would move. I don't even think that's real. Okay, but you said that the sun I is in projection, right? What about the moon? The moon doesn't change size either. No, it doesn't. Are you saying the Are you saying the moon is also a projection, even though when you look through it, you can see that it's a it's a it's a spheroid? Again, you can say what you want to say about what you see. To me, it's projected into our reality, into the uh, circle of our vision, the personal atmospheric dome. Let me share my screen real quick, just to give you an example of what I'm talking about. So this is share. You see this ray simulation. This is just a, it's a regular ray. It has nothing to do with flat earth. It's just a ray optic simulator. And you can make it so that if you put this here, like, and I'm not saying we live in this dome. I'm saying that we see in a dome, meaning that 
if you stand up and look above you, that that's kind of the closest you can see. And then we see to the left and right, this is what we all see. We all see in our own personal dome. And if this light is the sun traveling just flat across the sky, inside of our dome, we get a projection of this light. Now, if I made more of these, and I could, I could just take another of these, make another one, keep making them, you would notice that some people, let me see if I can do this here. So the circular arc, let me extend this. Okay, so if we had more than one of these, let me do this. Okay, so when you have more, then you start to see where everyone in the world has the same sun, but we see it differently. So as I do this, pull this one down. Okay, so these two are two different people. Let's say one in New York and one in California. And the sun is traveling away from New York towards, so at noon for New York, the person sees the sun right above their heads. But this person in California sees the sun just above rising. Then at noon here, it's noon for California. This person in New York sees the sun setting. As it travels over to Hawaii, ah, shoot. Hold on, let me stop that, delete that. Okay. That's As it travels over to Hawaii, now if the sun is set for New York, it's about to set for California. It keeps going. Then it's gone for these guys. These guys are in night. It's setting for California. So what we see is a projection of the sun. It's not the real sun. You don't see this sun. You see this sun, which is a focal point. Think of this way. You know, have you ever taken a magnifying glass and burned ants when we were kids, right? So there, to do that, we have I don't to, harm animals. Okay, great. I'm sure you never did. I'm sure you never did at all. So you take a little flashlight, I mean, a little magnifying glass and the little dot, you try and get it as small as possible, right? That's how you burn things. Think about if you lifted that magnifying glass off the ground. Is that little dot disappear? No, the little dot is then in the sky. It's in the air. That's basically what it is. That's the focal point of light. That's what we see projected as the sun. It's a focal point of light. But again, I'm not saying I know this for a fact. How would I know that? Right? These are the things that we've worked out that we think uh, explain it best. And when you see these kind of things, you notice these um, weird shapes. How come when I go look at sun dogs? Uh, I just... I just thought about it, Jerry, yeah. when, you know, when I saw it. Yep. Look at these things. These are the, it's the identical things. Why would this ever make any sense in a globe? It doesn't mm -hmm. at all, but it does match exactly what we're talking about in these ray simulators. So again, we have more evidence than the globe has. It's just, you guys want to believe what you're told by men. You don't want to do any research. Do on you it. even know how the distance to the sun is calculated? You tell me. I know how it is. So the distance know. of the sun yeah, the distance of the sun is calculated by, well, there are many ways in which you can calculate it, but um, really many ways, huh? Um, typically, you can either do it using triangulation or you can do it using do it. Okay. parallax. You, parallax, let's, say parallax this, let's say you're right. Let's say you're right. Um, you're so, Let me just say something. You just, let's say you're right. So then the moon and the sun are the exact same distance from the earth, according to you. How would you tell the difference, bro? They're the same size in the sky. So if you can triangulate it, then let's go triangulate oh the moon God. and it's going to come up. You can say, oh, God, if you want, but you're just clueless. Tell mm -hmm. me then. The yeah, we, the don't, we don't, Hold on. we don't, we don't, we don't point a light Hold on. or anything to Hold the on. sun. Hold on. The sun and the moon are the same size in the sky. So if you can triangulate it, then they would come out to the same distance, period. Mm -hmm. Sir, let me that? just finish, sir. Let me finish my, my I'll wait point. Here. Okay? Here, let's hear it. So let's it's actually it. rather easy to determine the distances within the solar system. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, and so the planets, they move around the sun, right? Not that. Orbits, you said we can triangulate. And That's what you just said. The, I'll get to it. I'll okay. get to it. On here. The orbits are really, you know, ellipses, right? Cool. But, um, but for our purposes, we can consider them to be circles, right? So what you do is you basically call the radius of the orbit, right? And this is the distance from the planet to the sun. How did you figure it out? Um, and... I thought we we're trying to figure that out. By observing the position of a planet in the sky over we said, a period of months. How did you get months. the distance to yeah. the sun? Hey, yeah. sir, let me finish. I'm not well, going well, no, gonna... yeah, you, you can't finish because, listen, let me tell you what the problem is. You said there were several ways you can measure the distance, but you never gave us any of the ways yet. You just I'm ended up it. with I'm, the... get, I'm literally getting to it. Okay, we're waiting. Go ahead. So by observing the position of a planet in the sky over a period, period of months... We can determine the radius of its orbit. How? You have to know the distance. <laughs> Let me finish. Okay. This involves trigonometry, right? But you can see that, you know, if you measure the distance to Venus. How would you measure the distance to Venus? Go ahead. 
the way in which you do that is simply by measuring the angle shown in the sky. No, you cannot measure distances to things in the sky what? off of angles. So knowing the distance to Venus. How do you know the distance to Venus? We would be able to measure the distance to the sun. Okay. But how, you got to take step one first. So how did we first figure out the distance to Venus? Then let's go from there. I think he only um, here for the, uh, uh, by, um, for the confusion, measuring the man. angle Kick shown in the out. sky. So by by observing the by observing yeah. Venus for a lengthy period of time, you'll be able to determine the angle shown in the sky, and through that, we can then determine the distance of the sun. That's one way you false. can measure. It. Everything you just said is so false. You cannot take an item. No, in the it sky. isn't. No, no, it isn't. No. So wait a second. So oh. how do you know Venus is different than the stars? How come the stars, if we watch them, how do we come up with twenty-five trillion miles, but with Venus, we only come up with a few million? They're di they're dots in the sky. How are you going to use angles to measure? So, you just trust men. Admit that you just trust. No, let me finish. So, nothing to do with men. You can do this yourself. No, you cannot measure um, the distance. So oh, Venus oh, okay, yourself. okay. So, you so, so, listen, measure. listen. Can you explain us the, the process by which you can, um, you can measure the distance between the stars and the sky yourself at home? Go ahead. Yeah. So, you basically measure the angular shift between the apparent locations of Venus across the sun. Um, and taking into uh, account, you know, the baseline distance hey, you would between have, the, you, you know, that, you to observing to um, uh, sites. And you can do that, you can calculate the distance to Venus by using triangulation. No, and with missing. that, you can determine, with that information, you can determine the distance to the sun. Hold, no, hold up. So, the size of it first. Yeah, Harry, let, 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 let Jaron explain to you what your, your, your experiment lacking, because... We didn't yeah. just come to this flat earth decision just out of nothing, out of nowhere. We actually looked into these things and realized that there is no way to tell the distance to the sun or to Venus unless you, now you can go now and say, oh, if we know the sun is 867,000 miles wide, how do you know that? It's just numbers that have been given to you. And we, no, it's not, it's not just numbers given to us. So how did somebody measure the distance across the face of the sun? Again, triangulation, the parallax. Do not triangulate. Method. Then the moon is that big too. Then the moon is also 867,000 miles wide. No, and because we also bounce off radar to the moon. And um, that, well, that's also another way for us to measure distance is by bouncing off radar. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done this before? Have I personally done that? No, of course, course not. not. It's expensive you, equipment. It's expensive equipment. Right, okay. It's expensive All right. equipment. All right. Believing in men. Yes. This isn't believing in men. You can go to their. Uh, uh, um, you say that, but you haven't never done that, right? Okay, name done? one person. Name one person. That's done. You can go and about. visit them and ask them to do it for you and show them. Name one person that did what you just talked about. NASA. <laughs> Who? Name a scientist. Name somebody that did that actual experiment. I'm sure you can go uh, email now. You don't know after. one. So that means that you're just listening to what somebody say. Right. And this is the thing. They want you to think oh, that what? things have been figured out. They want you to think that you can do these things on their own, on your own. So that you go around saying that to people. You go around saying, we can figure out the distance to the sun. We can no, the you can go and email NASA and ask them how do they figure it out. And they'll, and they'll respond to you. It's part of their job. It's part of because they get paid by the taxpayers. They need to respond to the public. You can ask them. Let me so okay it. so when we like this is crazy you think just because we can ask them they're gonna tell us the truth always they have no to they, they will invite you over to their uh uh facilities i've been i've will... already been <laughs> what I, is he well, about, listen bro? let me explain something to you man right. when i was in school we were invited to the space centers and we was able to look at the water tanks that they fake space in. We was able to play on a Gravitron, eat space rocks. Uh, I don't know exactly what else we supposed. Um, yeah, that was a little snack they had. You wouldn't know nothing about it. Uh, but anyway, check this out, right? I don't understand what facility you saying we can go to where they're going to show us what? Like, what, what, what are you saying, man? They'll show you the equipment they use to 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 measure the distance to the moon. Okay, so when they show me the equipment, should I just take their word when they give me the numbers? No, you can test it for yourself. You can shoot it to the moon, and you'll get the numbers back. Okay, so but, but 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 listen, 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 to, listen, to listen, and you'll get the stop. Get the I get it. Back. I get it. What I'm saying the is, dot in the sky. You're gonna shoot a radar at this dot right. in the sky. Right, and you know yeah, what's crazy? You, 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 you know, you, you shoot it to the moon, crazy. you get it back. Uh, hey, brother, stop a second. You don't got to keep repeating yourself. Listen, what I'm saying. 
the technology that they telling you they measuring the distance with is 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 baloney. It's a joke. It's a scam. It's a hoax. All right. Just because they told you, yeah, it shot to the moon and it gave us these lucky numbers. We said that it was. Think about it. The numbers have never changed, but yet they said that the moon was getting closer to the earth a few years ago. Then they turned around and said it's moving further from the earth. And the people going shooting distances to the moon still getting the same numbers. Like it take let me t- explain something to you. None of that what you're saying is science, dude. It's just belief. No, it's not belief. It's, it is science. And, and it is actually changing. The numbers are actually changing, but they're not changing astronomically. That's why you think it's the same. Okay. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. We hear you. Can you hear me, Mike Check? We hear you loud and clear. Hey, hey, everybody. This is your main man, King Kiwi. Look, I'm going to tell y'all something funny that I read today, right? They said that it's a giant asteroid passing the earth the size of 112 camels bro <laughs> <laughs> if y'all didn't see like, that, what? that is the most funny thing i've seen this year bro on the weather the yeah. weather channel has an application and see the weather yeah. channel along with the doomsday calculators that they got setting up around the earth that's part of the new world order new one world religion under science All other religions was using doomsday fear tactics to keep the people in check. And those strategies never change every time you cut on the news and the TV fear propaganda. But the new fear propaganda is going to actually be doomsday uh, AI telling us, look, your carbon emissions is too high. Boom. It's going to be a whole new social credit and type. Look, it's, it's crazy. I got stuff on that coming up in the future, though. But, uh. Besides that, we do got this True Earth Equinox Summit coming up. How many of y'all on the panel going to go to the summit, though, before we move on? Where Where is it at? I'm trying to go, bro. It, 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 yeah, it, it, it's I'm, virtual. I'm virtual. Yeah, I'm, I'm already booked. Nice. I Thank put you. your name in, bro Sanchez. Shout Appreciate out that, man. Appreciate much respect, man. Hey, let me tell you this, bro Sanchez. Let me tell you something, bro. I watched your video with... um. Which is my Antos Bonacci a couple of days ago because I had just started um subscribe to you a couple mm-hmm. of months ago. And mm-hmm. so I caught up to it. Mm-hmm. And man, you did a wonderful job, bro. I and and it and it really is inspiring, man, because our brains and our you know, the capacity to learn and get knowledge is out of this world, man. Like I got some stuff to talk about tonight. You know, I'm gonna give everybody the time, you know, but I just wanted to say that you did a, a great job because it showed how much uh, we can change the narrative when you just break out of the same um, like box that they want you to be in. And it was amazing to see that not even Santos wanted to you know, change gears with you. He was like really stuck on the Bible is a, a beautiful book and all of this. And it's like, he's not even considering what you were saying about what is done to our people. And it, and it was just amazing to see you break it down to him. And he just did not even want to change gears with it. You know what I mean? And I was I started listening to Santos back in 2012, maybe even 2011, and when he was breaking down the as above, so below science. And, you know, I learned um, the flat earth then, but then I started doing my own research. And I know for a fact that it's flat, you know, from the research that I've done. And I just wanted to let you know, bro, you doing your thing, man. Keep keep it rolling, man. Keep it burning. Keep the wheels rolling, bro, because we we here for you, man. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate Jared, that. Can I ask Jared another my question? Uh, well, I was just uh, going to ask y'all Globies a question, but you know what? It's, um, let me be a good guest. Go ahead. Good host. I appreciate that, Sanchez. Um, so, Jaronism, um, how many poles are there um, on your flat earth model? How many poles? Yeah, is there a North Pole? I mean, South Pole? Is it just, just one pole? North pole? Just the North Pole. 
Okay, so at, so 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 riddle me this, right? So how do you create electromagnetism with just one pole? I thought you needed two poles. I don't know what you mean. How do you create? Okay, according to science, right? A magnet has a north pole and a south pole, right? Correct. So have you ever seen a ring? Create, magnet? Have you ever seen a so ring? So to magnet? create a magnetic field or uh what they call electromagnetism or or torus field. Right. To me, it seems you would need a North Pole and a South Pole, and you just couldn't have just a, a North Pole alone to create that effect. So have you but seen a so, ring correct, magnet? Elaborate. You've seen a ring magnet, right? Looks like a donut. Yeah, I've seen a ring magnet, yeah. So where, where's the North and South Pole in that? I'm not sure. That's a goal. Ah. Uh, you, had to, you had to break it down for me. Tell me where. I don't know. I mean, that's why I'm asking you because it. it I mean, I don't know. Earth I thought acts... you asked the question. You're supposed to know the answer. So in case well, I don't know, I don't know think the there is one. The Earth acts as a as, as like a ring magnet, and it generates a torrid field that uh, causes a rotation of the sky. So it's is that is that so that thing has is it sitting still or is it spinning? Is that that uh the Earth or magnetic the ring idea of yours? Is it spinning? The magnet. Is there any, the magnetic huh? flux lines are spinning in the air. Yes. Okay, so that means your flat Earth would have to be spinning. No, the Earth mm-hmm. is order for that to take effect. This okay, is well, crazy. The Earth is the is the inertial plane in the middle. Okay, Gymnasium, what do you have to say about the magnetic shift? What mag- you mean another fear tactic by the elite? Right, there is no, no magnetic shift. It. You know yeah, what? No, no but listen, no, hold up, shift. everybody. The magnetic poles well, are shifting towards Canada now. I'm so, sure what do you have are. to say about that? Okay, well, listen. Why would flat Earth would that not take place? Why could that not take place? It's like you're using things that you're saying are evidence of the globe. That has nothing to do with the globe. How would that prove the globe? Yeah, but the Magnetic South Pole is shifting? a specific point. Sure. Where is the place? specific point on the far north? Wherever I, I, they I, placed the flag and called the South Pole. It's the yeah, same. Yeah, you're not consistent, are you? I'm very you really aren't. I don't know what you mean. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me just say this real quick. Um, if you're saying that there is a South Pole, can you show me where a compass ever pointed to it when we go below the equator? All compasses, they point inward toward a cent- one central pole. Um, if, if, you're, if you're saying as a south pole, then when someone go below the equator on a globe, the compass should point magnetic south now and be attracted to that south pole. Why doesn't that happen? There's an explanation for it. And I'm waiting on you to explain it. I'm waiting on you to explain it. Sure. We're waiting. Um, We're waiting. We're waiting. The reason why compasses point north um, is actually quite simple. No, 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 no. I didn't ask that. Um, No, 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 no. I didn't ask that. No, no, no. no, no, Hold on. Hold hold on. The question was, why don't they? The question was, why don't they point magnetic south on a globe? Because of the Earth's magnetic field. It should. Because of the magnetic field, it should point magnetic south below the equator. If you say you got two poles. If it points magnetic north above the equator, shouldn't it point magnetic south below it? Shouldn't it be equal to both poles? It shouldn't, no, dis- so it shouldn't discriminate. Confusing- Listen, it shouldn't discriminate on one of your poles, man. That's all I'm saying. No, Go ahead. You're confusing between magnetic I'm, pole I'm, and I'm, geographic I'm, I'm, pole. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm not, make, I'm not confusing nothing. I'm asking a question. I'm saying, okay, listen, when your compass is pointing at the North Pole on a globe, is that magnetic north or geographic north? So, okay, so. Uh, is magnetic it magnetic com- north or, ge- or geographic north? Just one quick question so I can move on. I'm trying to make a point. So the North, pole, the North, the North, the North Pole, is, the North Pole. Thank you, Madan. Thank you, Madan. The North, the North Pole is actually the South Magnetic Pole. Okay, so my question still remains the same, though. Why don't your compass point equally the same to both poles as you cross over the equator line, sir? It won't change. The, let me show you what's happening now. You can't answer my question. You can't. Let's just go ahead and say. So the, the, what you're doing now is trying to muddy the waters and confuse things. You're trying to say what a compass is already really point to the South Pole when it's point to the North Pole, which is a bunch of stupid horse crap. Uh, it, it, it still don't answer the question, though. 
Why don't your compass ever flip? You got two poles, but it only point to one all the time. What? And Sorry? You, yeah, we just going to pass on. We know you have nothing for you, that. You, know, man. you I'm literally make it. no sense. You make no sense. I just asked a question. It ain't that I'm making sense or not making sense. I'm just asking a question. It ain't that I don't make sense. It's that you're showing you don't know nothing about your model. I'm not up I here trying to teach. I know everything about it. You're just asking stupid questions. I asked a question. You know what? The question is stupid only when he can't answer it. When the question beats his ass, it's stupid now. That's a very legitimate question. If you saying you got two poles on your model, there's a tool that we use to detect one of our poles that we call the North Pole. If you saying you got two, why don't that two equally detect them both if we're traveling equally on both sides where there's both two poles at? Why is it on, why is your compass only attracted to one of your poles but you got two of them? I'm telling you that's a bias ass compass. Or either you just got one pole. I'm going to say you just got one pole. And if that's true, then that's supporting a flat earth model. It's not a dumb question. It's just one that don't okay, cater, so cater can to. So I explain that if you let me. So Earth has two sets of poles, a geographic pole and a magnetic pole. And Earth's magnetic field can be, um, it, it is, is the, the, the North Pole is actually the South Magnetic Pole. So, um, th there are actually uh, many magnetic poles on Earth. Um, they all have varying degrees of influence. Mm. And uh, the most influential magnetic pole um, is the one that is situated in Canada at the moment. And that's where all the need is point because it has the greater influence there are many magnetic poles on earth mm -mm -mm. many they just don't have enough of the influence to influence compasses the most mm -hmm. influential magnetic pole is the you, southern you, you, pole in canada you know you know what so on you, a flat you, earth you, you, you know, hold, hold, hold you, on. You, i'm not gonna let you go no further let me show you, him one thing. You know what? Because he still ain't answer my question about why his compass is only referencing one pole, but he got two. He want to talk all over the place about all these other poles that the compass don't account for. A bunch of time wasting. That was neither here nor there. It wasted our time. Go ahead, Jerenism. My bad. I'm going to share my screen real quick just to show him so that he goes back and tries to study this and figure it out. So if we look at the... Do you see uh, this triangle? I don't know what screen I'm showing. Am I seeing this? Yeah. Yeah, we share. Okay. So we can figure out what the angle is between the sun. Let's say that this up here is the sun. Okay. So we can figure out if you're right underneath the sun at the equator and somebody is 3,097 miles from you, which is exactly where the 45 degree angle would be to the sun, then we can triangulate and we get that the sun is 3,097 miles miles high why are we talking about the sun i thought we we're talking about negative poles i'm just talking real quick i'm changing because you went back to saying we can triangulate it so when we do triangulate it we get 3097 so is that how far the sun is <laughs> look this is complete nonsense uh, I told uh, you the way uh, we uh, measure uh, measure so now triangulation is nonsense no, the way we uh, measure it is by looking at what other celestial hold up, objects. Hold up, man. Hold up. Let, let, let two at a time, man. Who is that other mic, so, hot mic? So by, by, by looking at other celestial objects like Venus, we can then determine the, the distance to the sun. Wow, we don't literally look distance. at the sun. You have to know the distance to one of the items at least. We know the distance to Venus. How? We can then figure out the distance to the how? sun. How do we know the distance to Venus? Uh, there are many methods, triangulation, parallax no, methods. triangulation, I just drew for you what triangulation tells us. I just drew for it. This yeah, is but it right that's here. to the sun, man. Like, you're just so dishonest. Venus is the same thing. If we took Venus above our head. Oh, we... my God, you're so dishonest. It's insane. That's crazy. It's your, that's it's crazy, your man. Lack of in, in, intellectual ability to think outside the box is your problem. Bro, this is something that the scientific community come up with. 
exposed it to billions of people, right? There's billions of people on the planet. Yeah. You're the only one that wow. has a problem with it. No, you know, no, that's that's person. not true. That's that's not true. Billions and that, that's billions not of people. Not true. Let me explain yeah. something to you. There are many scientists who disagree with a lot of lot of like everybody don't just agree with everything they say, no. bro. That was that was false. They have um, peer review, right? Is anybody who brings any kind of paper that's outside of their current beliefs, then they'll just shun it. They just get rid of it. So the right. scientific- Wait, I just wanted to respond to the magnetic poles. So there are yeah. many, many yeah. magnetic poles we, on Earth. Oh, oh my many. God. Many magnetic. There are many, but, but many you can't, magnetic listen, poles. That's the question: is why don't your compass point to the the? You got two poles at the top and bottom of your globe, the north and south. However, you want to reference them. The question was: why does your compass only refer to one since the beginning of time? There's two poles on the globe, but since the beginning of time, compasses have only referenced one, and you can't explain okay. that to me. Okay, I I did, but you're just not willing to listen. You keep saying you that there are that many there, there are just, many poles on a globe. That's irrelevant to what I'm asking, though. No, it is relevant. Just hear me out. There's not just two poles. There are over eight poles. But I'm just Earth. asking about those two, though. That's the, I'm okay, just asking okay, about those on, two. Relax. The it's two, eight poles. The you're two talking... that you're referring to are the two dominant the hell out of there. poles. Okay. okay, so if and they the two the, dominant poles, why don't the compass equally point to both of them equally? It only points Luna, to one of them. Because because the one that is situated in Canada is has has a, uh, is uh, is is much more influential than the one that is situated uh in Antarctica or somewhere around that area. The north, the 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 one that's situated in Canada has far more greater influence. That's so, why all of the needles point to it. No so matter wait where a minute. You are on Earth. So if you go that, real that, close that, to the that, South that, Pole, then it still the still the North Pole is the one with the influence. Right. That's what I'm saying. That don't make no damn sense. That it, if it I'm the bro, sense. bro, no, no, bro, that, that is stupid, bro. That's stupid. That's let me show let me show you why it's stupid, dude. If I'm standing right next to the South Pole, my compass should shift. Your compass will shift if you bring any kind of magnetic object around it. It'll acknowledge that. If I got a big magnet in my garage or in my basement, it will mess my compass reading up because my compass is detecting that magnet right there. If there's a magnetic energy field in the south where you say it is, it will definitely interfere with my compass and make it point uh, other than north, just like the magnet in your garage or your basement would interfere with it, which is why they tell you don't shoot your azimuths and all that around all of these crazy big magnetic devices. You won't get an accurate uh, reading. So if you telling me that the compass will detect a little magnet in your house and make your mess your reading up, but nothing will happen at the South Pole, which is the second most dominant pole on the Earth. I'm standing right next to it, but my compass is acting like nothing is there. It's just still pointing north like it should, but I can pull out a, a magnet from, from a car or a big magnet from somewhere else and it'll respond. It's either there or it's not. The instrument is not going to fail me, right? People have used this instrument to say they life at sea. If the magnetic energy field is there, trust me, that compass is going to detect it. There's no such thing as well. It's but the one, the one near Canada is so strong that no matter where you at, all the other uh, uh, poles, it, you won't be able to de- detect them. Guess what you're saying? That the Earth is flat and there's only one pole. Because if you can't detect something, then you can't say that whether it's there or not. If I can't detect something, I can't even say factually that it's there or not. It's a belief. So I got to say what's factually there. It's the only one I can detect. And according to you, that's what's happening on the globe. Every one compass is doing what it should do on a flat earth, which it should just only detect the North Pole. But you're saying on a globe, yeah, that's what's happening. But the reason that's happening is because it's so strong that it canceled all the other ones out. You know, right? It's not like it's an actual poll. Like, what, what is he talking about? You got to prove that. So I'll just fall back right there. Just this is a bunch of malarkey from his side. No, let me respond to that. You just don't want to hear the other side. You're ignorant. 
Why you got a name called? Go ahead, man. Yeah. So the, the, the Antarctic explorers have reported that the compasses that they use behave weirdly because they're pointing to the south now. Instead of pointing to the N, they're pointing to the S. <laughs> so as they get closer to the, Antar- to, the, to the pole in the Antarctic, their compasses point to the S. Mm. So I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. What I'm telling you is show me that. Or you, you just, just talk. Fucking debunked, you, fucking you know what? Moron. You, you know what, man? I'm going to be honest with you. Hold on. I got it. 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 Check this out. Let me, let me host. I just want to say something, guys. See, this is where I have to come in and say it don't matter the shape of the earth. It matter the shape of your mental health. See, this brother right here. It don't just say he's right and the earth is a globe. He still needs therapy. He still needs psychological help. I don't. Now, I can be the flat earther. Who wrong? Just say I'm wrong. Do you see this guy? He has a temper tantrum. If he got children, I feel sorry for him. They probably get their ass beat a whole lot. Right. And I'm just saying this dude got mental issues. Fuck the shape of the earth, dude. We worry about the shape of your health condition. Are you in good shape, Harry? Who hurt you today? You need a hug, man? <laughs> I'm all good. <laughs> I that's told a, you he was weird, bro. That's a devil laugh, too, by the way. <laughs> no, You're it's very not weird. the devil laugh. You're very weird, sir. You're scary. You're spooky. No, man. it's just I'm passionate. I, I just don't. Get your passionate ass out of here, man. Let me baptize you. We don't want to hear you sucking up about you. We all passionate. We ain't fucking calling each other morons and all that right now, though, are we? We all passionate. Yeah, but I don't like misinformation. I don't like it. No one does. When you show up, we got to distinguish what's misinformation and what's not. So if we can't do that without you lashing out, then guess what? I don't like people who need mental health uh, uh, help, but they don't get it. If we're going to talk Sometimes about... Sometimes you do need if, to if, lash... If, 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 if we're going to talk about what we don't like, I don't like people lashing out when we just chilling and trying to enjoy ourselves and have a little serious, uh, little grown-up conversation, intellectual conversation, man. So just fall back, cool off for a minute, go pop your Ritlin, and let the br- let the brother Clayton grab the mic for a minute. <laughs> hey, greetings, bro, uh, Chan- uh, uh, Sanchez, and greetings, Flat Earth Power family. Um, for I just want I put my chat in the phone in the um in the I put my phone number in the chat, bro, Sanchez, because I want you to call me. You a journalist, so I can get this uh, straightened out about this um cash app deal. Uh, I, I think I said this the last time I was on the show. I don't know if, how long this Harry guy, whatever his name is, or whoever's um, like debating you about the flat earth, bro. But I'm going to say it again. What people need to understand is we did not just wake up and all of a sudden said the earth is flat. I always believed the earth was flat. It took us months. It took me almost a year to acknowledge that the earth was flat. So when you brothers are talking to us, you have to remember that, especially if you've been following Bro Sanchez and his material and you know his mind is sound, stop arguing with the brother. And the one thing that you ball of waters believers never do, you never come with any scientific experiments. You keep spewing our indoctrination to us like we never believed what you're trying to tell us. We believe the stuff that you guys were talking about, but we Jaronism just gave you uh, an experiment about triangulation. He 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 gave you how you triangulate something, and you still was arguing with that. Some of you guys come on the show, and and you're not even looking for the answer. You just want to fuss. Stop asking questions if you're not prepared for the answers. Again, we did not just wake up and all of a sudden say the Earth is flat. We had to go through this. We know how tough this can be. So I'm going to say, please stop making a fool of yourself and arguing with a flat earther, especially one that's recognized family, especially a person that is recognized. You need to listen more and then go do your own experiments. Sanchez put up one of the best experiments I've seen Sanchez do with the one with the quarter things that you can do on your own. 
you can go get the simplest thing that proves the earth is flat, water, and do an experiment with water. And you're going to find out that there is no kind of experiment that you're going to be able to do that shows you how large bodies, I'm not talking about a raindrop. I'm asking you guys to go get at least a gallon of water and try to prove what you believe about it. It's simple experiments. And water is the simplest thing that proves the earth is flat. None of you guys True. have one simple experiment that you can give us to prove what you believe about a spinning ball of water. This is not so one true. of you. Not one of you All can right. do that. You have Stop no experience. You have no experiments, family. So with that, I'm going. I'm gonna give the mic back, family. I'm gonna say, please stop fussing. Wait a minute, Madon. Sanchez. Wait a minute, Madon. Let me Madun. ask you something, Madon. Okay. Okay. Water is now has become the argument. Now that Clayton said that, we want to hear y'all talk curved water, and we're gonna talk flat water, and we're gonna see who got the most scientific proof for theirs. Flat water or curved water? Who's up for the challenge? Any global is up for that? Oh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, okay. That's easy. Mm. Um, so, Clayton, let me ask you this, right? Uh, do you believe in lower, in lower Earth orbit? Okay, you and I about talking water. Earth, he don't want to talk, talk water. water. Yeah, he don't want to talk water. Talking water, bro. Water. <laughs> because my argument is how water, how water reacts in low in earth low orbit. Earth See, orbit. I knew it. Let me tell y'all what's happening. <laughs> I want every flat earther to sh I want I want the flat earthers to listen while we're winning, y'all. We're winning because if you can't do your experiment and make it work on the ground, you lost. It's pseudo sign. If you got to take me to low earth orbit, how we going to prove that, B? You ain't being ain't, at that point. This a religion now. This is a religion. And guess what? The religion is the belief system is based on us believing the people who went to low Earth orbit. Some people believe well, an no no no. Some people believe the Anunnaki. Some people believe in ghosts. They believe they got a voice from the devil. You believe the people from low Earth orbit, but that ain't us. That's a whole nother species, girls. I'm concerned. If you can't prove it from where we are right now, bro, it's pseudo to me. If you got to say, well, I got to get you in space to show you how I work up there. That means you ain't done the scientific method, which is the only way you can legitimately prove something. Well, um, I forgot the guy name that was on your show. Well, I I, I can stay away from low, um, low Earth orbit. We can Please go to the do. experiment. Let's stay on the ground. Where yeah. What well, a guy did the experiment where it showed how sound held up a spill water. I forgot the name of the experiment. The guy was on your I show. I got to ask he you a question. I got to ask you a question. Is sound holding up the globe in space or is gravity is? Uh, both sound and gravity. Which one are we taught? Okay, I never was taught sound. I was always taught gravity, though. But but see, I'm going to show you why you're introducing sound now. Because that's the only way you can prove your curved water is with cymatics. But guess what, though? Cymatics don't turn water into a spear. It'll levitate the water because it'll create a vibrational barrier that the water is sitting on. And it'll levitate the water. But guess what, though? The earth that we're on or the ball earth, it, they say it's not levitating. It's actually falling. If you're going to use that experiment, you can't say that your earth is now levitating on a sound vibrational wave and is also falling through a vacuum because that's totally different. Mm -hmm. See, bro, and bro Sanchez. Well, it, I, it's, I, sound I, I, allows, it's sound that allows, it sounds that allows, um, the earth to complete a rotation. It has an elliptic, what they call an elliptics. Um, all these things are created by sound, the sound of the most high um, that put these things in orbit or uh, what we call it uh, orbitational. Uh, when we're done, can we deal with a globalist that actually is going to teach it the way science teach it? Cause I'm going to tell you, y'all know that Madon got his own little church. He's now, I never in my life ever heard him talk about this sound shit. So it's like, I don't Never. really, I'm not really looking for people that's just making stuff up and reaching the day. Like, I really want an intellectual debate. Any uh, globalists that really yeah, know? I can, yeah. respond, I can respond to that. No, so the reason why, 
the reason why on the globe the water isn't falling off of the globe is because it's attracted to the center of the globe. Now we're talking. So now we're talking with a globalist that actually is yeah. attracted to the center. That's why the water does not, you know, just fall off and just float away or whatever. It's because of gravity. It's attracted to the center of the earth. Okay. Hey, bro, bro Sanchez, real quick. This, this, this is my ace in the hole, and I want people to listen close to this because it's simple. And please don't argue, don't cut me off. I want to make this simple. I will cash at anybody right now $1,000 if you yourself can go get at least a gallon of water, show us how it can curve into a ball, spin at 1,000 miles per hour, and maintain a spherical shape. Yeah. Now, can anyone offer me $1,000 that I can't prove the natural physics of water, which means everything I put it in it's going to take the shape of it, and then that water is going to seek its level. I don't care if it's a cup, if it's a bathtub, if it's a uh, a, a pond I just made, if it's an Olympic pool. Mm -hmm. Everything I put that water in, it is going to take the shape of it, and it's going to level out. That's called a scientific experiment, and not one of you speaking can go get at least a gallon of water and show us how it can curve into a ball and y'all forgetting to spin at a thousand miles per hour and maintain a spherical shape. Now, who wants to argue with that? Or put your me, money where your I, mouth I can is. Do it. Give me, give me a thousand money. dollars. Hold, hold give me on, a thousand dollars. Hold, 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 do it. Okay. Do it. Hold on. Okay. You, you, so you, you, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna bet me a thousand dollars. I can't prove the natural city some water. Give me five days and I'll come back to you. I want the thousand dollars immediately. Give me hey, five hey, days. Hey, 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 Harry. Me. Hey, Harry, I want you to email me so we can arrange a debate after all these events thanks, I got, man. Sanchez. I'll do my, I'll bring my experiments with me using the water and you bring your experiments. We got a thousand dollars on the table. Is that a deal? Yeah, give me a thousand dollars because I'm going to win anyways. You might as well just send it to me now. So y'all heard that, right? Brother Sanchez. You ain't going to do it because I won that thousand dollar a couple months ago. I still ain't got it. Man, when did you do the experiment? <laughs> Show the experiment. Can can because I do can I do something, brother Sanchez? Can you hear me? Bubble, I showed okay. you how bubble works. Okay, so all man, you gonna show us how how you gonna do the curve um, water? Okay, go yeah. ahead. Because I'm just a listener and I'm a real good thinker, and mm -hmm. I just don't want to let that slide by what he just said. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. forget all that. Um, I mean, not forget all that what you just said. Before you even get to that, I want to know what can attract water so strongly to the center. What in the center is Whoa. attracting the water. Like, what? Yo. I've never seen nothing in physics. Yo, that wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. But, but wait. wind and. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, you finished. Uh, Somebody you know, was what, what attracts water like that? We talk about H2O. What can we not get past that force before we get to the force of making it into a ball? And you telling me that iron core is pulling the water? It's pulling so water. So strongly. We have yeah. 70% of water. Hey, hey it's man, pulling, it's pulling <laughs> all that water so strongly and making it into a ball. I, I forget making it into a ball and spinning it. I just want you to pull me some water <laughs> out of a cup with something. Just, yes. just take anything, make up a concoction of irons, put something inside of an iron ball, maybe some type of alien technology and sit it near a cup and, and suck the, the water out the cup. Yeah, bro. I, I that's all I yeah, want to see so because that, this that, guy that's, been talking that's good a lot. Stuff, and I, man. I really, I thought Sanchez, you was gonna get rid of him. This guy's an agent of chaos, man. He's not. Nah, he you know to, what? You know he what, man? To take away. Let me tell you thinkers. what he is. He's a indoctrinated zombie. It's He's a bunch. Let me before tell you something. Let me tell you, it's a bunch of him. So you might as well handle hit handle one because you're gonna have but armies of I zombies. I understand that, but. I, I got so one thought. I don't want to lose, uh, Brother Sanchez, that you made me think about earlier when you was talking about the two poles. When you said the pole don't even go to the south, it made me think about it like, okay, positive and negative. Is that even a lie? It's positive. No, they do go to the we south. Understand, they do we go understand. To the south. We they understand, to Brother Sanchez. I'm talking to Brother Sanchez. We understand duality. You know, but do we really understand in the fullest form? Because when you talk about two magnetic forces, I see only one, the most high, that North Pole. And it's been that way since the conception of all this. So when they try when to have you create this North negativity, 
Like this guy over here keep shouting in the back. I'm gonna be is honest with a, you. Is it even true? Like, is it is negativity force even a true force, or is it all just one came from one? And like you said, you got to you got to short God short short shorten this up, brother. Shorten this up. I wanted to see what itself was like in his lower self, right? But is the whole concept of this other force and negativity even true? That's all, because there's only there one. There is no okay. God. There is no God. Okay, so listen, this gun is getting out of hand if you ask me. The neg negative force and positive force are true, man. Go and open up your TV remote and look at the battery, right? Negative side, positive side, working together to give you energy. Negative and positive is real, okay? I'm not going to debate that. What I'm going to debate is these polls, I mean, because uh, when you talk about the polls on a flat earth, you have in and out. On a globe, you got up and down. Now, here's my thing about the globe, Earth. Above the equator, you got this North Pole, right? Below it, you got this South Pole. They telling you that these are the two magnetic, uh, uh, he, he used the word dominant, the two dominant uh, poles on a globe. So when things be pulled upward, below the equator and downward below it because y'all say that the waters are held to the globe because it's pulling inward then you say there's a north pole up here a south pole down here but all the pulling is going in it it ain't gonna it's just gonna ignore both of them poles and just fall in okay I, I, so I, I so so i understand so, now so, i understand so, now, so, so 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 just to land my plane I never saw water be magnetically attracted. That was a good point the brother brought up. You know, I, I want y'all to deal with that when mag water don't litter don't normally respond to a magnet. But so on, basically, on a, it's okay. not the South Pole that's the negative force that they talk oh about. God. It's the actual black sun that's in the middle and inside the Earth that's the negative. When they talk about South, that's not even existent. Cause it is no such thing as the globe and everything. You you understand what I'm saying? The negative force. No, you said, I don't understand nothing, bro. Are you, you a globe brother? Are you a no, globe brother? No, Sanchez. I, why you brought me out of that? I'm talking cool. intellectual here. They saying the South Pole is the negative force. The the pulling. It's not that. It's the black sun. The what's inside is the negative that they don't understand. That they talk about black matter. Mm. And, all that stuff that let me, they talk let me about explain. is not the South Pole. Let me explain something to y'all. You remember when we was young, they gave you the example of a trampoline and they put a bowling ball in the middle and all of the energy flow gets sucked toward the bowling ball. Is pulled. That's literally what's happening, but the trampoline is the flat earth circle. All the springs that's connecting the trampoline around a rim are your magnetic ley lines, asthma, uh, ley lines coming from the center and shit. Watch this. The energy get more and more intense as you go toward the center. It get more, and that's what's really, so this this example don't work on a globe. They give you a trampoline to talk about gravity pulling, but they don't give you a globe. The trampoline is flat. They giving you that for a reason. All the compasses point to the center for a reason. Let me show you why. We're on a dielectric inertial plane in the, in, the, in the middle of a magnetic energy field. Go look one up. I'm going to show. Matter of fact, let me pull it up. Because using big words and not showing it is really defeating the purpose. Here's what we're in. Now, if you look at the pole in the middle of this thing, all compasses is pointing at that. Let me, sh let me tell you why all compasses is pointing at that. If you think of a kitchen sink, when you when you fill it up with water and you take the drain out and make a vortex, that's what's happening on that model I just showed you. This what's happening here is it's a vortex. Now look, in the case of our kitchen sink, when we got the water going down it, if you drop a toothpick in the sink, when when you pull the drain on it, the toothpick will point toward the suck toward the vortex as it gets sucked in it. The toothpick will, will straighten up, it'll straighten it up and it'll suck it down the drain. But the toothpick is going to point at the thing that's sucking it as it 
follows and gets sucked into the thing. That's what your compass doing on a, on a, on a, in a nutshell. Your compass is responding to this magnetic. Vo- we're in a we're in an invisible ocean of magnetism. Think of that kitchen sink. And in the middle of this ocean, there's a drain like what we see here on the screen. And just like the toothpick in the kitchen sink, the needle on your compass is pointing toward, is is responding to that. Now, that may not be the best example, but I'm just trying to simplify to y'all to why it's only one pole and this is what's going on. Uh, why, why all the compasses is just responding to the force in the center of a circle. I'm not no expert at this. I'm just showing you my understanding. But go ahead. Hey, bro, Sanchez, you know something else that's funny? When you tell, when you tell somebody about sea level and they say that, that, that's not what that means, sea level. It does mean sea level. And sea levels rise and fall. Put some water in your bathtub, fill it to the top, and then measure the, measure the height of that. Measure the level. And then let some water out for a few seconds. The level is going to drop. Level means level. Like your table, level means exactly what it says. See, level, they rise and fall. Water is 100% proof, family, that the earth is flat and can't nobody dispute dispute that. And again, this brother brought up five days. He's going to challenge me for this $5,000, bro, Sanchez. And I want to set that up. He said, give him five days. Give him five days. He'll prove to me that he can go get at least a gallon of water and show us how it can curve into a sphere. That's what he said. And I told him I can prove the natural physics. And the natural physics is water is going to take the shape of its container and it is going to level out always. Well, let me ask you a question. Um, Have you watched the movie? I think the flat earth today, I think it's beyond, behind the curve, beyond the curve. Hey, man. We ain't talking to Madonna. Get his silly ass out of here, man. Uh, y'all gonna have to forgive me, bro. Yo, you just gonna have to forgive. I don't want to deal with that man today. Cause we're making hey, argument. Yeah. We're making arguments to this dude, and he just ignore our arguments and go off yeah. into some other shit. I'm not finna do that with you today, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, y'all. Can y'all hear me on the panel? We can mm-hmm. hear you. Okay. Um. Real quick, I had seen a video, and I wanted to know if you guys have maybe come across it on YouTube. It was a video out. Um, I don't. I think they took it down though, because it was a very, very powerful video about what Bro Sanchez was talking about the North Pole being a um being a vortex, and they actually have visuals of this phenomena. Have you guys seen that? Well, <laughs> I want to go and see it for myself, honestly, man. But until the end, it's like space for me. Like, if I don't see it for myself, I'm kind of like, I want to actually see what's at zero degrees on on our map. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I get you, bro. I, I honestly get you. I don't, I don't, look, I don't, I don't um, look What's, at that. You got CGI the link, stuff. you got the link for me? I'll pull up whatever videos you no, want to do. No. No, you know that 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 was when they was combing the YouTube channels for like real powerful truth. You know, it's similar to that video you have of the pilots flying above the sun. It's one of those type of videos where it's like remember that video of you know, the vortex. Okay, you so that? and it was so powerful that when you see it, it will scare the living shit out of you if you don't know what you're looking at. You know, they was flying over the vortex. I remember that. Let shit. me explain some to you. That That's an old video, but uh, it also has the Earth as a globe. I saw a lot of oh. flat Earthers using that footage to say, "Oh, look at the North Pole, see." And it's like, "Hey, the globers is like, well, it's a globe too. Look at that curve back there too." Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. You saying, oh, really, like we didn't watch the same footage flying over the North Pole, right? No, that's what I wanted. I was just asking. I was just asking. This is about proof, family. 
This this is about experiments. And I know you, what and video you you're talking about. They flew over the North Pole, and you can see like a hole with it was gray. It's got shit falling in it. It's just like what we explained the whole vortex right, deal. Right. Yeah, right, right. I, I I like that video. It it kind of shows what we should see, but I'm iffy on that, man. I'm just iffy. That's why you never saw me really just blow it up like that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I'm like, I'm sure bro Sanchez would expose it already. Yeah, man. And and that's why I had to ask, because a lot of the stuff that used to be on YouTube, you know, they 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 really, um you know, take down a lot of stuff that, you know, once you see it, you try to go back to it, it's no longer there. So, yeah, I uh, I feel you. I want to do that. I want to go, too. I want to see it for myself, too. I see the video, but... I'm not really scared of anything in this reality like that, like I used to be. Or, well, know, well, 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 the thing is this, man. I don't really want to spend hours and hours talking about a, 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 the video. It's about the summit. We also want to debate any globalists, right? And I'm here to talk about the nature of the flat earth, right? And uh, the reason why I don't accept that video, just to be clear, it's because it don't really support what really we would see at the North Pole. On a physical level, it does, but we didn't see no northern lights. They flew over the North Pole. They got this big hole, and I'm like, where's the green stuff, man? Uh-oh, they forgot something. The northern lights. Ain't no way you flying over the North Pole and you don't see a big green halo of some sort, like of some sort of, come on, if this is there, it should be on that flyover. But hey, bro, Sanchez, can I do real quick? Remember, I told you I had to go at five. So can I yeah. get a five minute to speak and then I'll go? Yeah, you can do your thing and uninterrupted. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I just want to say, first of all, I heard talking about water in the ISS or in the uh, in low Earth orbit or whatever you said. So I've seen them release ping pong balls in there and they just go everywhere. So there is no gathering of mass in the center. The ping pong balls don't come together and make a sphere. And you're talking about little drops of water that they do on the ISS. Tell them to do a gallon of water. A gallon of water will go everywhere. It's not going to hold a gallon of water in space. You just see them do little balls, and then you're like, oh, if they do little balls, they must do gigantic Earth-sized balls. No, that's ridiculous. It's not going to happen. The other thing is, um, remember when we were in school, what they told us was, here's proof of gravity, and they took a bucket of water and spun it around their head. Remember that? Which is not proof of anything. The outside of the bucket is hard, so the water has nowhere to go. On the Earth, the outside of the Earth is not hard. The water would go everywhere. So it's not a good example to use the spinning bucket. Um, I was going to tell everybody, if you haven't done the rice test in your life before, somebody like Liam here or whatever his real name is, Henry, I don't know. He comes on my show in different names. But um, somebody like that doesn't believe in things like the, mirror, uh, like the rice experiment because science says that you can't measure love or hate. But if you've never done it, take three jars, put an equal amount of cooked rice in each one, seal them up. You'll never open them again, like three uh, mason jars. And then mark one of them love, mark one of them hate, and mark one of them neutral. Set your alarm for like 9 a.m. every morning. Get up every morning, and you actually have to do this for real. You can't pretend, or else what are you trying to do? You're not proving anything. Go to the love jar for 30 seconds. Tell it how much you love it, how great it looks, how edible it looks. You love it. You think you thank for it. Then go to the hate rice and curse it out. Have fun with it. 30 seconds of, you son of a bitch, you piece of gr Right. After two weeks, you'll be shocked that the hate rice is moldy. And the love rice is looks edible, and the middle rice, the neutral rice, will look like in between. And that tells you so much about our world that we can affect things with our voice, that this is why they put all the negativity on the news and racism and anything they can to get us to turn on each other, because it just creates a shit world, whereas we can actually change the world with just our voice. Um, lastly is uh, I want to show, if you want a test that will prove this to you, if you're actually, if this guy actually cared, he would go out and do this test, but he probably won't. Let me share my screen real quick and I'll be done. So this is the cheapest test you can do. Also the easiest test. It's just called a mirror test, okay? So if you do the mirror test, all you need is a camera, a mirror, and two people, okay? And you have somebody go to where there's a body of water. Monterey Bay works great in California. I don't know where else you might want to go. But this body of water across here, let's say we're 25 miles. 25 miles is 104 foot of bulge. If you don't know how big 104 feet is, it's a 10-story building. It's huge. It's like the Jesus Redeemer statue in Brazil, right? That's 100 feet. So in between two people 25 miles apart, there's supposed to be a 104-foot bulge. Now, if you go out and have this guy hold a mirror, and you have basically the light's going to be coming, obviously, like this. 
the light rays are coming down. Oops, sorry, this thing's in the way. There we go. So if the mirror is coming down and it's flashing on this mirror, and then you have somebody with a camera over here who's just looking across the water and trying to pick up the mirror flash. The thing about a mirror flash is it's a line of sight observation, meaning, and you can go do this right now in your front yard. Take a mirror out with your friend, have the, start flashing the mirror, the sun at them, and then get behind something like a car, garbage can, anything. The second that that mirror is occulted, meaning the second that you don't have line of sight to the mirror, you lose all flash. So when you're actually seeing a mirror flash, and you can prove this right now, you will see that it's because you have line of sight between you and the mirror. Now go out to a water 25 miles apart and watch this person zoom in and pick up this person doing the mirror flash. Here's one that they did in Monterey Bay uh, with a P900 infrared. Again, we can show you where the cameras are. Look at this mirror flash. How is How are you seeing a mirror flash? They're supposed to be a hundred foot. No, here's they're doing 18 miles, I think. So it's like a 60 foot hump. But 60 foot is a six story building. How would we be seeing a mirror flash from the other side of the water when there's supposed to be a 60 foot hump in between you? The answer is there is no curvature on Earth. Okay. You might see things that look like, oh, isn't this hidden? No. And actually, you can see over here, this is the beach. Okay. This is the beach in front of these smokestacks in, in, in uh, Moss Landing, California. And how are you seeing the beach? There's supposed to be a 60 foot high hump of water in between you two. And this is something you can go do with two people, a camera and a mirror for nothing, for no money. So there's no excuse until you've disproven this or shown us how this could happen in the real world to, to argue with the earth that there's no curve. There, now you could say, oh, it's traveling over the curve. Look at what a hundred foot item is, or you know how far, let's say 60 feet, just so we'll say this observation. Look at something that's 60 foot tall, this statue, look at this. You're telling me that somebody on one side of this statue is seeing a mirror flash from the other side of the statue? You're insane. You're out of your mind. You just have given it your way your mind. You've just given it to these controllers. You're like, whatever you guys say, we'll believe. And this guy comes here and argues with us. He's protecting known liars, known uh, criminals is who these, these governments are in every country. There's no government that's good. They're not. They've all gone corrupt. And we're actually trying to bring that out to people. And we've got people like this guy. They want to come here and argue on behalf of controllers, argue on behalf of the government. Like, no, they would never tell lies. They would always tell. look at how tall the statue is. How are we seeing from one side of this to the other? And we're seeing a mirror flash. Again, if you don't believe me, I don't expect you to go out in front of your house today and test what I'm saying. See if I'm not saying you won't even see a glint of the sun. If you occult that mirror, it is a line of sight. It's gone. You cannot see it anymore. So how are we able to see in this case? And look, at you can actually see where the camera was. Let me see where they show it. Here we go. So watch this camera and where the, so the camera is, what, how tall? Whoops, go back over here. Let me see where the camera is. It's like three feet off the water. And then this is where she is with the mirror. See the mirror? So she's right here. Here's the, the observation across here. And how are we picking up that sight, that line of sight? It'd be impossible unless the earth is flat, okay? So I'm just saying it is actually easy to determine or figure out on your own. You don't need uh, science. You don't need anything. You can go out and do it yourself. I want to show where this camera was, but I'm not seeing where they show it. Hold on. Um, there, there you go. That's better. So here's the camera here showing you there. Okay. And so again, if you are here and you've got this person seeing it from there, that's impossible on a globe earth. Here we see it flashing again. Look at that sun flash. Okay, so that's line of sight. It means you have line of sight. So unless you have an excuse for that or an explanation for that, I don't know how you would. It's, there's no hump here. There's no water. There's no water hump. There's no ball of water. And by the way, just so you know, I didn't make that up, those numbers. Go to search um, Metabunk Curve Calculator. You're going to get this one here, Curve Calculator. You can enter in all your own data up here. So this is asking distance in miles. So you could say, okay, we're 25 miles away. Viewer height and feet, you should add them two together. Let's say we put, doesn't matter, 25 feet. Doesn't matter because the hump height is the same. So you go down here. Oh, you have to check. Uh, oh, I did. Where's that check mark? Oh, yeah, advanced. So you can go down here and look at what's called the sagita right here. Sagita or bulge is the amount of rise of the Earth's curve from a straight line connecting two points. So if we drew a straight line between us and the other observer, then what is the hump height? It's 104 feet at 25 miles. Now, those guys, I think, were 18 feet. Or 18 miles. So if you do that, is it like 60? Let me see back here. Uh, where's the hump height? I lost it. Sagita hump. Where are they? Right here. Yeah, 54 feet. So again, 
<laughs> and you could even put somebody up 20 mile, 20 feet high on this side and 20 feet high on this side, because they're still not over 54 feet. So even if you wanted to get off the water a little bit, you could, you're still not able to see over humps in the water. So that's probably easier than a laser test. The problem with the laser test is because if somebody, let me get this thing back up here. If, uh, where's my, if somebody has a laser, I could see where they could say that what you're seeing is the laser pop over the curve, right? Does that make sense? So like if somebody's shooting a laser over the water and you're like, oh, I see the observer. Maybe people saw Daryl Marble do that test or some other people. The problem with that is the Glober excuse is you're not actually seeing the origin of the laser. You're seeing it as it passes over the hump, which could be true, but it's not true when it comes to a mirror. The mirror is not shooting a laser beam off of the mirror. That's not how they're not. It's not a coherent beam. It's just a flash. What you're actually seeing on the mirror flash is the reflection of the mirror. I'm sorry. Is the reflection of the sun in the mirror? So, any questions on that before I go? Any anybody Can got I ask questions? A question? Any yeah. I got a question. My question. I got is, questions. Well, greetings, everyone. Oh, he cut me off. I don't know. I'm gonna let him go first. No, no, you can go first. It's okay. Oh yeah. So my question is, could we say that there are curves on the flat Earth? Of course. There's mountains, valleys, hills. Yeah. That's all I wanted to ask. Thank you. Yeah, it's curves okay, on my. Okay, is it's... in. Uh, good, uh, good morning, wherever you are. I'm in London. This is Rabbit Man. Hi, Bro Sanchez. Every hi everyone on the panel. How you doing? Hi, listeners. Okay, okay. The simple, the the simple answer to all this is the the bullet that can shoot over a th over a hundred miles away. That right. should be impossible. Mm. Yeah, all the bridges the of the right. world, the, the longest bridge in the world, that should be impossible. All the civil engineers, they never use any. They don't account for any. Even when you go to university, they never account for any curvature. Mm -hmm. So it's all. The secret societies ploy. Only the secret societies are supposed to know this. What do the Masons say? Do you know what the Mason saying is or their little symbol? It's on the level. They're on the level. It's on the level. Everything's on the level. I come from a Freemasonic family, both sides of my family. On the level. You know, so, yeah. I, I wish there was a globalist on a call that could explain to us why we see that uh, mirror flash. Because like you said, that's a line of sight observation. And uh, that means Even we Salt Lake City, yeah. bro, Sanchez, Salt Lake City. And you know, the only explanation they will have is like what the news reporter did for that Chicago skyline. Right. You know, right. some stuff like that. Yeah. Following the narrative, bro, Sanchez. Yeah. And it's called That's a crazy. heliograph. If you want to look it up, it's a heliograph. They've used them in the 19, uh, 19th and 20th century for communication long distance. They've done like 190 miles across yeah. two mountains up high, but it'll tell you anywhere you look. Look up heliograph and then look up line of sight. It will say it is an absolute line of sight observation. Otherwise, they wouldn't use it to send secret messages if anybody could just pick it up from the side, pick yeah. it up from somewhere else. Oh, no. Before I forget, yeah, can right. I say something, Jerry? You know what? Yeah. Right before angle, like, hey, Jerry, and that is really a jewel right there. That argument oh, right there. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, And I get it. I'm the first one to get it. I get it that it sounds crazy hey, uh, that we would have any idea that we would be able to say like, oh, these guys on YouTube know more than scientists. What do you say, Harry, about um, Edwin Hubble, who said that when he looked out in the galaxy, saw everything moving away from us, which tells us we're at the center. He said, we have to stay away from the absolute horror of a unique position. And so he came up with this idea of we're actually on a balloon and there's a bunch of dots on there. And if you blow up the balloon, every dot gets away. The whole idea of science has been convoluted because they don't want us to be a creation of god which you need the do. truth is in the vedas you're here yelling that I'm a there's, Hindu. No god. there is no god there is no god there is no god the only person the there is no god see so exactly no, this is why you like Anyways. science do you understand yeah. that you like the men and their worldview you don't you don't care about the science you you yeah. like their worldview that's what you like no, science science is all about making whatever thing you want up as long as you can prove it so yeah, you can't prove nothing. Like, if you have a, if you have a theory that. that, if you have a, if you have a theory, you have a the theory. Earth, that's it. That's what you've got. Theory. If you, you have a theory, or let me finish. If you have a theory that the Earth is on a turtle, that's fine. Just show us the that, evidence. That ain't what we're saying. That, that's and listen, fine. No one said uh, that. Listen, what we're saying, real quick, right? Um, 
He just made a perfect example with the mirror flash. You haven't spoke about that yet, and I thought you would, but I'm going to tell you, we shouldn't be seeing that mirror flash. I would like to hear from you, why are we seeing that? Because my answer is, hey, we on a flat earth, unless you have another answer, Harry. It's a mirage, you say. I would love to hear it, Harry. Like, why were we seeing that mirror flash? Is it a mirage, Harry? I have you. Is it a mirage? Um, so, okay, so. You yeah, can't I explain it. I think it has to do with uh, refraction. Oh, okay. Of course it has to do It has to do with atmospheric refraction. So. Uh, so we're able to see around 60 foot high curves because of refraction. That is it awesome. Lifts, it lifts things up. You saw that the little mirror flash was right on the horizon. So that's incredible. Hey, can I, can I, right I love it's this. Africa. Yo, I got, I'm going to cut this out and make y'all a I highlight on Flat Power TV. Jaron really crushed y'all. Wait, well, sorry. I wasn't really focusing on what he was saying, but I do have an <laughs> experiment. That, uh, I, I do have an experiment that proves the uh, spinning water globe thing that hey, please someone mentioned. I want to hear it. Uh, who, was it who was it that mentioned it? Was it Clayton? Yeah. Um, I can um, send you the link, bro, Sanchez, and you can share it if you want. It's not a link, bro. I said you do an Yo. experiment with water. No, 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 no. This is this is this is a video. This is a video that demonstrates the experiment. So Yo, that's I'll not just... what the bet is. That's the I, bet I knew. Is I said. You, I said. I said. I said, if we keep if we keep swinging, eventually we're gonna beat refraction out of them. And Jaron did it, yo. I knew it was <laughs> right, gonna bro, come. So just, I sent the link in the chat. Can you share your screen and show us the video? I'd like to see. What okay. okay. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see it. Somebody out of space. Harry, can I ask you a question? That looks like the earth, I get it, but it makes sense. All right, so this video here is uh, a model of the, uh, well, it's not really the earth. It's actually spinning faster than the earth. And um, hold on a here, second. Oh, hold you on, you can't say it's spinning faster than the earth. Here, Hello, you can't what say you that. See here, <laughs> what you see here is that this man here, this gentleman, he is pouring water on it. You can see that it's not falling off the off the surface. It's a look at that! Ball. Look at that! Oh my God! Sorry, can I ask everybody. you a question? Oh my God! Oh, bro, hold on! Wait, wait, the wait, wait! wait. Falling off. Oh, wait, y'all! Look at that! One at a time. Dollars for that. I, I, I want. I want to. Uh, first, I want to mute it because we don't need the audio on the video. Is we we can watch it though. But let let them give you a uh, rebuttal for the video, uh, Harry. If you if you don't mind, go ahead. I'll, I got to go, so I'll just say one thing real quick. That ball is tiny, and number one, they say that the Earth spins one rotation a day. That's what they love to say because they don't want to tell you that the edge velocity is 1,000 miles per hour. Okay, so when that edge velocity equals 1,000 miles per hour, then you can say that they're equal. It's not even close to 1,000 miles per hour. Look how slow that's going. No, this is actually spinning faster than the Earth. How is it, finished, it's, how is it spinning faster? It's Whoa. spinning faster. And as you can see, the water droplets... They're staying in place. They're not dropping down. They're what not. You mean they're staying in place? Seeking level. Look like they're jail. not seeking level. Why aren't the water droplets seeking level? They're not. They're <laughs> stuck. Like so, 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 so look, it, look it I want in. my thousand dollars now, mother. I would like to do thousand dollars. Harry, Harry, Harry stop swearing. Thousand dollars now, man. Hold on. He asked me for a thousand dollars. Let me repeat what I said. I said he needs to go. Let me repeat. I said. You have to go get at least a gallon of water. You he said. and prove oh, to us. Bro, get out of here, bro. You got a gallon. <laughs> Yo, brilliant Yo. gallons of. I, I got, I got a question. Ask you a question. I got no, 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 no. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> wait a minute. Here, here's what he need to realize, right? This experiment is flawed. It do, it is irrelevant because what we're asking for is you to make oceans on that ball, not little drips. See, this ball ain't got little drips. It's full of water. It's 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 flooded. It's holding water like a container. And we want you to fill it up. Like you mentioned the Bible earlier. Don't you know they had a flood in the Bible? How do you flood a globe? Let's start right here. He's going to flood it. How many drips does it take to create an ocean? He doesn't believe that. Um, in right. the chat. Bro, uh, bro, not with the needle size droplet. That's the smallest droplet it's thing I've ever seen in the world. That. It's not possible to do that. That's a needle size drop. 
the gun that can shoot a hundred miles away. Can you explain that to me? Harry, answer me, please. Yes, what's that? This is you know the gun that can shoot from here a hundred uh -huh. miles away. Right. How does it compensate for the curvature? Um What's in that wall anyway? Why is that that's not there, are, there are many, many factors to that. Uh, um, uh, okay, what's yeah. the facet? Yeah, how does a supersonic jet, how does a jet, one of these fighter yeah, jets? Yeah. And, and listen, while, while you answer him, remember now, Jaronism showed the mirror flash. That was a line of sight event. So what he's asking you about the ballistic question, that would be a line of sight event because for a shooter to hit their target. Exactly. That, that, so you can't use refraction for this one. You can't okay. use refraction so for this one. Go ahead. J journalism knows very well about this. You got to answer. You got to answer Rabbit Man he, question about the uh, yeah, yeah, bullet. Thank you. <laughs> ATM did a laser test, and he demonstrated. The Are you not going to answer that? You're rude. You know what? No need to ask him questions. He's just not going to answer him, yo. Let me just say something real quick because he's confused. Again, you. He did a laser people. test, and he proved the Earth is. No, I didn't do a laser test. You're, you're totally misrepresenting. We saw a light. A guy lift a light above his head. It had nothing to do with a laser. That's how dumb you are. Mm -hmm. You're just saying things. Bro, no, you proved the And you're not wrong. even Why? answering. Oh, yeah. When? You're, when? you're when not even answering. Show me the laser test. Bro, you, laser test you showed up with this damn video footage. You proving that it's flat if this your idea of how water stick to a ball. Because if you want to say he failed in his experiment, I can show you the water falling off the ball. Look, that go a drip right there. That well, just again, failed. He's just confused. I didn't do any laser tests yeah. on any... So you Where's the drip it. that's falling? Show me. Show me I'm the about drip. To I'm about to show you where it fell right Brother now. Sanchez, watch I got to go. If you look at the chat, I did put one uh, TikTok that has Harry here uh, making a fool of himself on one of my shows. So I'm so sure about to play that. All right. Yeah. And I got to go because I got another. I'm already 10 minutes late for a show. But All right. uh, thank, we'll thank do it again. You. Thank tell you, everybody Jim. about the summit again. Guys, support Brother Sanchez and more people doing the work he's doing. That's it. Harry, take a hike. Harry, answer my question. Harry. No, we got to We got to show you the drip. Look, there it go right there, y'all. You see it? It fell. A drip fell off right here, y'all. You see? Explain it? to me if you look at the top. If you look at the top left, no. why are they still there? No, 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 no. I'm not going to explain to you why they there. They there because he got some gel in the water. That's why the water blew. But even with the gel in the water, right? The water drops still falling off. You said show There's you the no bro. There's stop, no stop, stop, stop. I don't know that, man. So my thing is this right here. You said show you the drip falling off. I showed it to you. Now you want to ignore it and talk about something else, man. I can't do this with y'all. How about the ballistics? Ask I can't the ballistic do this with y'all. Hey, look, watch the drip, y'all. Bottom left corner coming up right now. Watch, yeah. watch, watch. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> wait for it. Look, look. Watch this, y'all. Here it come. Boom. Yeah. You saw it? You saw yeah. it? No, this is, yeah. this is water. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, this yeah, is water. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Hey, sure, ask, sure. Him to, ask him to pour a gallon of water on that ball and let's see what happens. Stan right, says. right, man. <laughs> pour a gallon on it. We being better courteous. Yet, carve some, yeah. Better yet, carve some holes into the ball, pour some water in it to create ponds and lakes. And see if the damn water was not going to fall out of it. Yeah, yeah, the that, yeah, man. Dumb shit. Dumb shit. Goddamn clown. I just want you to attract water yeah, without a vacuum. He can't answer the ballistic question. He can't answer it. You might as well get it, give it up, rabbit man. He's not going to answer that.